All right, welcome back to, I don't know what to call this, <laughs> but this is uh, learning Google Sheets. And uh, yeah, I've tried the awful experience of uh, using uh, Google Sheets in this uh, this app here, which is, it's frustrating, it really is. It's much better to just use it in a browser and uh, it's more functional and uh, you have this like right click feature with all these things that um, are invaluable like pasting as values only and pasting as format etc so yeah i definitely recommend just using um, if you're on an ipad and in um, ios the the app uh, needs a little work so uh, i cannot get used to it <laughs> this is uh, this is a lot better here i figured out how to open uh, my sheets here in uh, here so we can continue and uh, basically yeah so we were on average here and um, yeah we can just go ahead and average let's go ahead and average these this should be pretty easy to um, uh, to get the average of some some stuff here so let's just scroll this down so what are we averaging here let's go ahead and delete this oh we're averaging this so g 51 to 64 so there whatever is in um uh how do i put it whatever colors is orange so here what is this averaging that's averaging that hmm well let's see if what we can do with that let's see if we can average let's say does this work like this? No, it doesn't work like that. Okay, let's go ahead and delete everything from there. Let's see if we can grab like this. Yep, we can do like that. So we'll average all those numbers. Yeah, that works. Okay, great. So let's look at some more average um, stuff here. So average if. Um, let's go ahead and do that. That sounds good. Let's go average if. Okay, so let's average. Let's see what this how this works. So criteria range, criterion, and the average range. So criteria range. Let's go ahead and select this uh, criteria. We'll average those. And then what would be the criteria? Hmm. Maybe let's average it if it is above 50. So we can put a parentheses. I think that's how that works. And then do greater than. And does this work if it's 50? And then what will we average? Let's average the same range. And then press enter. OK, so I got an error. Formula parse error. OK, so evidently that does not work. But if we just uh, remove the parentheses here, Greater than 50 still doesn't work. Great. Maybe if I do it like this and then use this symbol. There, that did something. There. So I had to concatenate the greater than symbol. Uh, this little this little operator here, it's like just uh, connecting it, this uh, greater than symbol to the 50. If I want to change that sign, I can make it less than. You can see that it becomes 27 instead. So we're going to add, we average everything that's below 50 uh, in this line here. You can actually also average um, th this stuff depending upon uh, something else in, in another field. Um, but let's make it a little bit more, um, uh, I don't know, usable. Let's just put some names here. So Mike. Matthew, Mark, Luke, Luke again, Mike again, John, um, Jane, Joan, Joan again, Chris, um, who else? Tom, Bob, Bob. Okay, so we got some names here. Now, um, what did we do? We were on average if. So we averaged if a criterion, if it is um, uh, less than something. But maybe let's average if 
it's uh, a certain something instead, like it's a certain name. So here, so let's go ahead and average if criteria range. Okay, so the criteria range is going to be this. Okay, so let's just make the criteria mic. And then the average range. Let's go ahead and average these numbers. If and only if it's mic. And hit enter. There, we've got 35. So how many mics do we got? I got mic at 20 and 50, so that's going to equal 70, so 35. Great. Um, instead of doing that, we could actually uh, point this uh, this this portion here to a, a different cell, and we can enter something in there instead, like say this cell. And let's just put a placeholder there. Let's just put mark there. And then instead of having this mic here, we can point it to this cell. There. So we have mark, and we we can change this. We can say instead, let's make it Luke. Oops. There. You see how the number here is changing as I change this? John, Joan. So I'm averaging if this matches the same cell in here. It's going to match the same row across in this column. Now you can do that with several things too. Um, uh, let's say um maybe have a date right so what's today august 15 22 okay and let's say um control c and then we did august 15th for all these and then maybe the the ones at the bottom there is the next day or Let's make it all the next day there like that. OK, so we're going to average if. Let's do more than one. So let's do average ifs. Average is ifs. Average ifs. So it's going to ask for several criterias. So let's go ahead and average the same range. So this is what the average range. And then we're going to give it a criteria range one. So let's make the first criteria this, which is our, our names. And then the criterion one, we can point it to our cell here where we're putting names in. Let's give it another criteria. So we'll have a date. And let's do the second criteria as here, the, 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 the cell just below. So let's go ahead and press Enter. So that's got nothing because I didn't put anything yet. But let's go ahead and put a date in there. So 8, 15, um, 22, there. So I still have nothing here. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Get rid of this, 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 and this. So we have 15. So Joan didn't do anything on the 15th, but she did maybe, let's see, on the 16th there. So our number did change. So on these two criteria, Joan uh, had, let's say this is a sale, and um, uh, or how much she made or something like that. So there's 47 and 51, average that, that is 49 for Joan. Uh, let's go ahead and see Jane. There. So Jane on the 16th, there's just one, and it's 52. So we average ifs. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and continue with our averages and weighted average. Ha. Huh. So let's go ahead and see. Let's go ahead and open this up here a little bit, though. Uh, let me scroll down if I can there just a little bit okay so averages ifs let's get remove this d65 here that doesn't look like it belongs and well yeah we wanted to see this so values weights additional values so returns a weighted average of a set of values 
Okay. So the weights might, um, the weighted averages might uh, be significant if, let's say, we want them to count for more things. Um, let's let's give, just try to make an example here. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll go to um, uh, can't get out of this thing. Apple. Okay, there. Let's go ahead and delete these. And let's just work with a couple of uh, items here. So let's just make a one here, a two, two, one, two, two. Okay, let's go ahead and see what happens whenever we you are uh, we try our weighted averages here, and we will look at our values. So let's just get these so far. And then what are the weights? So these should be the weights. So this is how many times um, those things will count towards that value. Uh, so if we hit enter, we have 53.8. Mm -hmm. Maybe that doesn't illustrate it that well, uh, but maybe we can see it better if we just do a couple of things, maybe just two things. So let's go down to G. 51 like that and then this one will also be 51 and press enter there so it should count the the 20 once and then the 37 twice and is that right having that 31 well in the middle of 20 and 37 that should be about 8.5 right so 28.5 um, if that was going to be just 20 and 37 averaged. But if you're going to average 20 and 37 and 37, you're going to get this. So let's we can try to illustrate that by um, putting it here. Let's say 20, 37, and 37, right? So we can go ahead and average, average these three and see we have the same thing, the 33... 31.3 repeating here. Now, this is useful in a way because um, this might be, let's say, if this is a like a service level. And then this, let's say this is a number of calls. If you're working in a call center, that is. And the service level that for each call, let's say, or if there is some sort of metric on that call, you would want it to be per call. So um, if you have 100 calls here, right? So you can see how that changes. And if this is 100, that would give greater weight to the 37. So there, there's that 25, 8.5 I was talking about. So yeah, so we can put our weighted averages in. Um, what would these additional values be? I have no idea what would happen if we put one. It doesn't do anything. Expects to be all, all arguments after is zero to be in pairs. Okay, so what if I put another one? Additional values, additional weights. So if I did 100. Ah, I see. Okay, so 100 has this much weight. How about if it has um 20 how about if it has just one great okay so uh this basically if uh, if i want to add some values to this uh, calculation somehow we can um and uh, you can show how much weight that value has so if this is like another hundred calls with and it's got a hundred service level let's say you would add it just like that and add the, the weight to this calculation. All right, so let's move along. Let's see what else we have here for our formulas. Maybe I'll go to, uh, let's go to this formula thing here and go to all and see what ha we haven't covered yet. So we went over averages. That would probably be one of the most important. 
and 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 add uh, for most business purposes um, these kind of things also array and array constrain average if we did average ifs we did and I think I'm going to skip all of the the theoretical maths like the cosine sine and tangent the things of a circle so sorry about that but that is not my specialty uh, but I think we'll continue with uh, the bees in a next video so thanks for watching if you've been watching